from an undisclosed location in North America, you're watching the latest episode of Card to Card. Uh, this episode, we're going to talk about Alien Bigfoot. And um, this is a Mezu UFO first edition card. Fantastic artwork there. Um, interesting that guy has a camera there. And uh, there is the classic Bigfoot um, Patterson video stance. And this is artwork by Chris Campman. Really love this art. And one of my uh, more uh, favorite artworks from this UFO set. So what in the world is Alien Bigfoot? So when I see this card, I just think, oh, is Mazu just coming up with some weird thing? What is this card based on? So it is actually based on something. It's not just a throw-in card. And the story of the Alien bug, Bugfoot, Alien Bigfoot, goes back to the night of July 31st, 1966. There were two couples. They were uh, vacationing um, at an eerie Pennsylvania beach. And when they were getting ready to leave, they found that they were actually stuck in the mud their vehicle there was stuck so um, one of the male members of this uh, party here they left to go find a tow truck and the remaining friends they waited several hours but that man never returned they then uh, saw a craft like a UFO type of thing flying in the sky and it sent a purple light beam to the ground and then it left and um, a little bit later, a police officer um, came to check out why are you, these guys just sitting here at the beach late at night. And um, they told him what was going on. And um, and um, they, the other man that was that was in the party left with the officer to go find the other guy. So that left the two. Um, females alone at the uh, stuck car and then while they were there alone they saw something in the bushes and they saw this six to eight foot tall creature growling at them and um, I actually have an eyewitness account let's see it's right over here eyewitness uh, account like a sketch drawing of this creature and um, just like all the videos here of card to card viewer discretion is advised so some of these can be kind of scary and freaky so there is that creature that they saw like an artist rendition of it and definitely looks like a bigfoot type creature um, kind of looks like even maybe um, a little more menacing looking so that was not the only sighting in 1966 in Pennsylvania. There were several others, including a woman was just sitting in her chair in her house and she heard something at her back porch. So she grabbed a gun and went out to see what it was. And uh, she reported seeing a hairy humanoid it was about 50 feet from her porch. And um, she shot at it. Unfortunately, well, fortunately or unfortunately, she missed. And she says the creature teleported away. And uh, her son-in-law came over. And um, he brought another gun. And he saw, and they found uh, eight of these uh, mysterious creatures. And they were also growling at him, like the other um, account th that we saw at the beach. So he did not actually fire his weapon at them, but... But he was so startled that he dropped everything and ran back to the house. So there were other sightings in the area, but um, back in the uh, early 70s and late 60s. But you very rarely today hear about these sightings in that Pennsylvania area. But um, notably in the early 1970s, um, there's a guy named Ron Moorhead and Scott Nelson. They were successfully able to uh, make contact with the family of these creatures. And they actually recorded them audibly. They had took hours and hours of uh, audible 
footage of these creatures. And um, they did note that they were extremely um, elusive. And it took them a long time for these creatures to become comfortable enough to allow themselves to be a herd and stuff. But they were actually unable to get any photo uh, photographic evidence. But we do have um, this video recording, audio recording from this uh, vintage video. And guys, definitely, viewer discretion is advised. This is the actual recording made by Ron Moorhead and Scott Nelson. So let's go ahead and roll that. Okay, very crazy. So uh, these scientists, they they believe that these um, creatures um, were not from the Earth. And they may have been like seeded here from these UFO sightings and encounters. So it's kind of like a, a, a Bigfoot sighting, except thrown in with a little bit of UFO. So it also makes you wonder, if this is true, are all the Bigfoots... Um, similar are they like seated here by aliens because they all seem very elusive and um, these uh, also notable the, these scientists they uh, they believe that this was these noises we heard were actually a language that they would speak to each other and that's how they communicate so they're they have a, a certain level of intelligence so this is definitely a very interesting entry into the UFO set and something I had never really considered is that aliens have some sort of tie-in with Bigfoot. So really cool. So let's look at the uh, look at the art. Take a closer look at this artwork. Yeah, really interesting. He has the camera set up there. That may be about those guys recording stuff um, with the Bigfoot. And, um, yeah, they're, they're wearing, uh, the, the sightings did not say that they were wearing, um, any sort of, uh, astronaut suits. They were just, you know, just looked like Bigfoot, but they were kind of close encounters or the, these sightings happened in, in close proximity to UFO sightings. So it does say day of birth, 1966 in Pennsylvania, USA. So that definitely checks out. And the flavor text, it says, it's unclear how Bigfoot travels so effortlessly. Um, there are reports by caster photographers that the Sasquatch teleported into thin, uh, out of thin air. So again, going in with that story of the lady, um, or... Was it the lady that said that? No, it was the, the ones at the beach said, the, the women at the beach said that, that it, um, oh no, it was the lady that went out with her gun and shot at it and then he teleported away. So, really interesting story. There is an interesting story behind a lot of these Mezu cards and the alien Bigfoot is no different. So every time I pull this card, I'm going to think about that story. So definitely if you're in Pennsylvania, you know, just sitting on your back porch and you hear this growling noise, uh, you definitely want to keep your eyes out. 